Hello there, today we will be showing you about the data pack, named, Go Beyond. What does this data pack actually does? So first of all, this data pack adds stands and other content from the manga and anime series Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, each stand fits a certain play style and has a reason to be played over another one to give players a wide choice between the stands and to pick the one they think fits them best. This means you are able to use and experience on being a stand user in Minecraft, especially your favorite stand. Let me tell you about the basics, mainly about the stand arrow and the stand disc. First, about the stand arrow, if you already watch and know things in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, this won't be a problem for you at all. To craft the stand arrow, refer to the video, you will need one spectral arrow and eight gold ingot to craft the arrow. Hold the arrow and right click, you will start getting damage from doing that, but if you manage to survive it, you will be able to choose any stand that you want to use by clicking the stand's name in the chat section. By default, multiple people can't use the same stand, you can toggle the server mode setting in the data pack settings to allow this, however this is most likely going to cause bugs with a lot of stands. Secondly, about the stand disc, if you still didn't watch or read part 6, let me tell you the basic, the stand disc is used to store stand, if you have a stand already and you want to store it in a disc, hold the disc and right click, your stand will be stored in the disc, if a non-stand user then puts the disc with the stand stored in their offhand, they will receive the said stand. To craft the disc, you will need 4 iron ingot and 1 glass block, refer to the video for more visual explanation. After you manage to obtain a stand that you want, you are great to go. Controlling the stand is easy and it's not that complicated, by holding the stand's icon in your hotbar, by holding it, your stand will appear behind or next to you, then, you will see the skill's name appear above the hotbar, to use your stand, put the stand item in your offhand to switch between abilities and right click it to use the selected ability. Some ability also require you to shift and right click. Try messing around and play with all of the stands and their move too, and you will get a hang of it. There are a lot of stand from each part of the anime series that have been added in the data pack. You can see all of the stands in the video, but currently, some of the stands are disabled and some need a rework, examples of stand that have been disabled are Sea Moon, Jumping Jack Flash and Enigma, but the current update, there are two stands that got reworked, which are Cream, Vanilla Ice's stand and Star Platinum, you already know who own it, and one new stand, Catch the Rainbow from the Steel Ball Run. This data pack also have add-ons, where they add stand that has not been added yet to the data pack, such as the world from Part 7, Made in Heaven and D4C. Other than only arrow and disc, there are a lot of other items too, which are the steel ball, revolver, horseshoe, dynamite, gasoline, and much more. This update also brought back the spin technique, which is great. A Trello page for this data pack is also available if you want to read a very descriptive information about all of the stands and items that were added in this data pack, link are down below. You can download the data pack by clicking the download link in the description below. I also recommend you to join the Go Beyond Discord server. The Discord server link will be given down in the description below. We try to make everything in the data pack as easy to understand and fun as possible but that being said, if you have any question or problem about the data pack you can either join the Discord server or look at our Trello page that should contain all the informations that you may need. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.